And healthy living is really important to you, right? You yeah, even absolutely. founded a foundation with yes. your husband called Just Keep Living. Can you tell us about exactly. that? Exactly. It's a Just Keep Living Foundation. We've been doing it for over 10 years. Um, and it's on after school programs, Title I schools. And it's all about preventing before having to cure. Mm -hmm. So we're helping men and women, like young men and women, be become great adults. Yes. So we do nutrition on a budget, we do exercise, um, we have guest speakers, we have a gratitude circle, uh, which is a great thing because, you know, it's really not cool for teenagers to sit around and say things they are grateful for. Mm. Um, and in the beginning, they were all like very shy about it. And then Matthew and I were there one day and we we're like, you know, Matthew was like, I'm just grateful that she, my wife gave me a good kiss this morning. <laughs> And so oh, then they're, they like, like that, they're huh? like, oh, we can say personal things. And they started to open up and it became the safe space for these kids to share things that are happening in their life mm -hmm. and really create a community around them. Um, yeah. Really quickly, before we go, I heard you may have a little question since I we do. are at the doctor's. Yes, and it has to do with cooking because, you know, I cook all the time in the house. All, pretty much all the meals, right? You do? You pretty all much, the time? yes. Good girl. Yes, yeah. ma'am. I order you. fantastically. I, <laughs> we barely go out. Vivica, you're not going to start making this? No. no. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to come to your house exactly. and you'll cook it for me. There we go. Yeah. Deal. But, you know, I'm, I'm all about using a lot of anti inflammatory things in the so meals smart. that yeah. I do. So I include a lot of, you know, turmeric and cinnamon mm. and um, ginger and cayenne. Um, and most of the times I try to use the fresh roots, right? And once in a while I'll run out of it and I have to go into the powder, right? Mm -hmm. So my question is, what is the strength compared between using the fresh stuff and the powder stuff? The answer is that the powdered form, it's much more concentrated and it has more antioxidants. The ratio is usually three times as much raw version to equal one time as much powder. So if a recipe calls for say one teaspoon of the powdered version of a spice, then you would use three times as much if you were using the actual raw version. Wow. But yeah, but there are actually certain things like you mentioned turmeric, which is a fantastic antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. That one when you use the raw version actually has an oil that aids in its Absorption. So sometimes when you get it as a powder version, it won't be as potent. You won't get as much curcumin, which is what you're really looking for. I usually do the fresh, but it's neat to know that, hey, if I'm trying mm -hmm. to get the same nu nutrient value, then I need to use three times more mm -hmm. to actually get the same nutrients that I would get it from the dry. Now, it's important that for the spice to be organic, though, right? We, we always say in an ideal world, you're going to use organic. Okay. But... Yeah. But... But at, at, at the same time, I would rather people I would rather people use spices, which are anti-inflammatories, than use salts. So, exactly. I, you know, there's yeah. it, there's always a little give and take. I'd rather use spices than not use spices. In general, organic is is always going to be a better choice. But I think what I've learned from this segment is that you are doing everything right as a mother. We're just trying. We're just trying. Keep up the great work, and what's great, if you're interested in making Camila's Brazilian stroganoff for dinner tonight, we're gonna have the recipe on our website, thedoctorstv.com, plus a bonus party recipe that Camila makes to entertain her guests. Oh, yeah, but we can keep doing the dancing. Oh, the As we go to break, <laughs> dancing with the dog.